Hi everybody, in this tutorial we'll have a look at uh, part 2 of the binding for our sample game for Unreal Engine 4. Uh, okay, so in the previous tutorial we added the menu and uh, now we'll add the binding for our health and ammo indicators. Uh, so if we play the game we see that we have a help and ammo indicator and we want when we shoot uh, the ammo indicator to decrease and uh, when we are hit by a projectile uh, the health bar should go down okay so again uh, for the binding there are two parts a uh, side and a javascript side uh, let's have a look at the C++ first. Please note that the short source code will be available as part of the new version of the game and you can have a look at it if you like. I'll just go over the most important sections. Okay, so we need to open the CoUI test FPS character CPP file. And if we go to the Uh, on fire method, we can see that uh, uh, when we shoot uh, a variable called current ammo is uh, decreasing and we trigger events uh, that sends the current ammo value to the HTML of JavaScript. So if we go to our HTML page that we have here and open it. Uh, we can see that over here, line, uh, around uh, line 130, uh, we have a, a method called uh, engine on change ammo. So when a uh, change ammo event is triggered in the C, it will be received using this JavaScript and it will set the new value for the uh, ammo bar so that it matches the current value in the game so if we go to our game now and play it we can see that uh, the ammo bar is decreasing okay so let's have a look at the health bar now Okay, let's go back to the C++ and we'll go now to um, the on take damage method. We see here that uh, when uh, our play uh, is hit, uh, his uh, current uh, health will be uh, decreased and uh, again using trigger event, we will trigger change HP uh, event to our HTML page and we will pass the current health value to it and if we go back to the HTML page we can see here that we have change HP uh, that will change the uh, current value of the health bar in the HTML page when a uh, change HP event is triggered from the C++. So if we go back to the game and play it and shoot ourselves you will see that our health is decreasing when a projectile hits us. And the last thing that we need to do is to um, so that the binding for our um, player options. So in our menu that we uh, show with tab, we have uh, player options that we want to bind. So um, 
to do this. Yeah, no, there's there are two sites: the HTML site and the uh, uh, C++ site. Let's first have a look at the JavaScript. Okay, so in the JS folder, let's open the options JS file, and we can see here that we have just a basic structure that has uh, all the settings, um, such as uh, height, selection, uh, unlimited ammo, and speed, and using uh, engine trigger we can send uh, the value that we set in the HTML page to our game and if we go now to our C++ file again uh, call your right test FPS character CPP file uh, we just um, uh, to find Here in the beginning, uh, we see that our view is uh, registered for the on apply options event. What we see here in the um, uh, JavaScript, uh, and When uh, the event is triggered from JavaScript, the on change settings uh, method is called. So if you go to it, you will see that uh, it basically just gets the value for the options from the uh, JavaScript and applies them. So if we go back to the game, hit play, and go to our menu. And for example, let's set the speed to maximum level. Click save, resume. And if we move around now, <laughs> we can see that we're going quite fast. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials from Coherent UI.